Yesterday, we got official confirmation of something that us enthusiasts have been waiting for for a very long time. RMC Guazi is 100% happening in 2020. So let's take a look at what we have so far. Yesterday, Busch Gardens Tampa unveiled this video showing a few small details about what RMC Guazi is going to look like and some of the records it's going to break. Everybody is freaking out over this thing. And I think we need to sort of take a step back and look at what we know and what we don't know. Everybody is freaking out saying, oh, this is going to be the best RMC best coaster in the world just because of the records it's going to hold we don't really know a whole lot about it yet what we know based on this video is it is going to be the tallest fastest and steepest hybrid coaster in the world meaning it will surpass steel vengeance in height speed and steepness by one degree so it is certainly something to get really excited about. I think this is likely going to be an amazing ride looking at RMC's past works and leading up to Steel Vengeance and now we have this. I do think that it's pretty safe to say this will probably be one of the top tier RMC's for sure. Probably a top 5 RMC. Could possibly be a top 10 coaster in the world but we're not really here to talk about that right now. What I think this coaster likely will feature is I could see it having three or four inversions since it's on the larger scale of RMCs. This video did not say that they were breaking the inversion record so it, I could see this having three or four inversions and it also looks like it's not going to be as long as Steel Vengeance. Steel Vengeance is a really long ride so this will probably still be pretty long. I'm guessing over 4,000 feet based on the statistics that we know, but this is all speculation. And Guazi was a huge ride too, so they have a lot of stuff to work with. As we know, they are saving the lift hills from Guazi to use in some of the structure in RMC Guazi, but the lift hills from Guazi are not being repurposed. They're just being used as bigger elements of the ride, but not as the main lift hill. Also, this will not be a dueling coaster, so it's just going to be one single track. Not a huge surprise. I know a lot of people were hoping for like some sort of dueling or Mobius Loop coaster, which I'm sure would have been great too. But I think this is certainly going to be very exciting. It's going to be the tallest coaster in Florida, because the tallest in Florida is currently Mako. Mako is 200 feet high, and since this is going to be taller than Steel Vengeance, which is 205 feet, we can use that to deduce that's going to be the tallest coaster in Florida. This is going to be really exciting. If you look at the video, there's this amazing looking like zero G roll that goes under the lift hill. And I have a feeling that this inversion is actually going to be one of the things that incorporates one of the old Guazi lift hills. If you look at it, it would make a lot of sense. The color that they used in the animation I think looks awesome, but these probably aren't going to be the exact colors that they use. We don't have a name for this ride yet. But hopefully in the upcoming months, we learn a lot more about this, some more statistics and what it's going to look like, what the name's going to be. I'm sure that stuff isn't too far down the road. So I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot about RMC Quasi in the near future. What do you guys think about this development? I know a lot of people have been waiting for this for years, and I'm so glad to see that they are finally doing something with that old structure just sitting there dormant in the park. It was just like, it, you know, it's, it's just an eyesore, just a sad reminder of a coaster that once operated. So I'm glad to see something's finally getting done with this after sitting for four years. Let me know what you guys think about RMC Guazi, what kind of elements it's going to have. Do you think it's going to have a lot of inversions? I can't wait to hear what you guys think. So thanks for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.